examples. Every time I go on the radio or TV or I'm in a newspaper and mention the fact that I'm a single parent, I will get at least one person send me a tweet telling me that I am the source of all ills in society. My child is going to grow up a delinquent. You know, I'm going to cause the nuclear holocaust, whatever. And never, ever answer them. They've made up their mind on you based on like a five minute clip on a radio show. Then... That I, anything that I can say in 140 characters is not going to change their minds and it's just not worth the effort people w- troll just for kicks and it's mostly like 11 year old kids or you know middle aged old men who are bitter about something their ex-wife did it's never going to you're never going to get um, you know some people will send genuine I disagree with you and this is why if somebody is sending you a genuine tweet to say I disagree with you and this is why it won't be attacking it won't be abusive it won't contain swear words and by all means enter into a discussion about the difference in your opinions and why you think you know that's fine there's one thing to have a heated discussion or a debate about something but when somebody's trolling you just don't even bother just don't even answer them it's the same with um uh, Periscope on Periscope, you get a lot of trolls, especially if you've got your location switched on. People will troll you, and they'll be like, "Get your tits out!" And you're like, "Well, no." Um, but you don't even need to answer them because you know it's just little kids. It's nobody of any significance. It's not like the person you are aiming your website or business at. It's not them that are doing it. So it's just not worth bothering with. Tip number seventeen, following on from that, don't be a keyboard warrior don't say something to somebody on Twitter that you wouldn't say to their face because you risk being seen as a troll. Um, I know of several people who would do anything to kind of make deliberately incendiary comments that, you know, be quite unpleasant and harsh. And then you meet them face to face and they're all, oh, hi, how are you? Oh, you look so nice today. I love your hair. And you're like, well, you were really slating me on Twitter last week. Do you not remember? Do you think I'm somebody different? Um, If you're not going to say it to somebody's face, don't do it on Twitter because, A, again, it's the kind of the fake thing. You're not being consistent. If you want to be, if you want to have a reputation for being a bit of a, you know, quite catty, um, for being someone who always speaks their mind, then you need to do it uh, face-to-face as well as on Twitter. Um, and obviously, you know, a lot of people that you see on Twitter, you're not going to see face-to-face, but you will see some. Um, and there's a difference between doing it behind people's backs and doing it to their faces if you tweet me and say i really don't like your website it's rubbish and then i see you in person and you're all nicey nicey and asking me for tips then you know that's a bit strange that's not I'm, i don't think very highly of you if you tweet me and say i really don't like the way that your website does this and then the next time i see you you go oh it's you hi how are you um so you know and maybe make a comment going you know how did you get that problem sorted with your website or have you thought about doing this with your website i respect you much more than if you're just nice to me when you were mean to me last week seriously tip number 18 for twitter is don't count your followers um it's nice to have a lot of followers we all like to get more followers but measure your success by the engagement that you get by how many people answer you it's very easy you can go out and i mean i'm always getting auto dms telling me that i can buy the thousands of followers for 20p or something that's not worth it um if you want and that's as well things like you know twitter follow ladders where you follow me if i'm ahead of you in this list and all of this nonsense i don't go in for it because i feel like if if i'm going to follow you it's going to be because i've read your bio and you sound interesting and ditto for me i wouldn't expect you to follow me just because you know i'm ahead of you on a list or something you should do it because you want to because hopefully you're interested in what i have to say um if you just get people following just for the heck of it then they're not going to engage with you and it's just kind of a a dead audience that's just a bit odd um if you're in it just to get as many followers as possible this is not like a secondary school uh popularity contest you're not gonna you know collect them all like pokemon go back to school if that's your game go back to school don't try to be on twitter playing with the grown-ups normal people are not about that um twitter is about engagement and finding people that are like-minded to you people that you can get on with and that should be your aim tip number 19 for twitter follows on from this and it is don't follow just for follow backs if i follow you it's because i find you interesting and engaging and i want to know what you have to say and i think you might tweet some interesting content if you follow me i'm going to assume it's for the same reason if you follow me just to get me to follow you back it's not going to work purely because um some days if i'm running competitions and things i'll get a lot of people following me and i'm not going to kind of go through and follow all of them because a lot of them are dead accounts that people only use for twitter for their twitter competitions and so on um but also kind of that whole 
thing uh just unfollow or crowdsource crowdfire as it's called now um i don't get that where you would go through that and go oh she's not following me well i'm not going to follow her then um were you not following her because she was tweeting interesting content were you really only following that person so that they would follow you back and isn't that a bit tit for tat and i don't understand that at all um i follow people to engage with them to get their interesting content to read what they have to say to you know and maybe if they maybe they'll follow me back if they find me interesting if they don't find me interesting they won't um and i'm fine with that unless there's that unless i feel like they're just a bit too important to follow me back unless i feel like they're being a bit like that i won't unfollow them if i if i follow them and i you know answer their tweets and they never answer me back then, then yeah i will unfollow them because they're not engaging with me there's no point but on the whole i follow people just f- you know for my enjoyment to to see what they're up to to watch their timeline not to make sure that they follow me back so that i can increase my follower numbers that's just a silly game tip number 20 my final twi- my final twitter tip is to be helpful so retweet people uh, generously without expecting them to retweet you back because that's you know quite childish um recommend people if somebody's looking for something then retweet that um if somebody's doing something interesting something like that if um one of my friends tweeted to say oh I've, i'm almost up to however many thousand instagram followers and i tweeted that saying follow my friend she's great um because it's you know it's helping her but it's also if if i recommend somebody's instagram profile or blog or whatever to somebody else and they find it interesting it makes me look good too um so i don't always recommend people because it's uh it kind of reflects on me if people click the link and go god this is awful but you know recommend people that you genuinely think you know if you know of two people that are in the same line of business or are interested in the same thing or have suffered with the same illness then by all means introduce them on twitter hey do you know have you met this person i think you'd get on really well or do you know this or tweet both of them and you know try and get a conversation going about it be helpful um if somebody is tweeting because they need to find somebody that knows about this for an article they're writing just retweet them if you think you might know somebody um i run the weekend blog share twitter profile which has mostly i think it's only bloggers following it so if there's somebody looking for a parent blogger or a blogger that does this or anything anybody that's looking for a blogger for something i'll retweet it with that account because i know that that's mostly bloggers following and there's probably going to be one that can help um if you know of somebody in particular so if somebody's looking for somebody that is you know this 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 whatever that runs their own business on a thursday in this area and you know somebody then retweet them and say so and so is this you um just be helpful because i think that makes you stand out as just generally in life if you're more helpful people will like you um and it's good karma as well um it it makes you seem like you're not just in it for you you're not just on twitter to get people to click your links and like your tweets and retweet you you're there genuinely to be sociable to be useful to be helpful to be friendly and that's really what well it's what i'm on twitter for anyway perhaps other people aren't but um certainly bear that in mind it's it's i find it's a nice feeling as well if you've managed to introduce two people that didn't know each other and now actually have a lot in common and are friends that's a nice feeling you're like oh you guys it's just nice so those were my 20 top twitter tips to help you on your way um you can find the show notes for this and all previous podcasts at vickycharles.com forward slash podcast you can find me on facebook where i am vicky charles writer on twitter where i'm at single m ahoy or on Instagram where I'm at Vicky C. Writes or at Single Emma Hoy. And I will be back next week. Thank you so much for listening.